KBZE 105.9 FM Sports presents the second half of the St. James Wildcats versus the Manny Tigers in the LHSAA non-select Division 3A football semifinals. Sponsoring our coverage were these Wildcat fans, St. James Parish Sheriff Willie Martin, St. James Parish President Peter Dufresne, St. James Parish Hospital, Tesh Action School Base Clinic at St. James High School, the Decor Shop, 1915 Highway 3125 in Lutcher. The Vachery Auto and Home Center at the corner of Highway 3127 and Highway 20 in Vachery. And Grognard Furniture in Donaldsonville. Now sit back and enjoy the Wildcats as they rallied back in an attempt to defeat Manny. Now St. James will come out to receive the kick. So far, every kick but one, the Tigers have kind of went with the onside kick. The third one, they kind of popped up in the air. So let's see if they choose to do this time. The winner goes to the Superdome to take on the winner of Union, and they beat. That game will be next Saturday at 3.30. It is sandwiched in between the Division Two non-select game and the Division One select championship game. So, three great days at the Dome. If you're a football fan, we always say it. That's the place to be. Three games. Should be. I'm sorry. Two on two. Two on Thursday. Three on Friday and three on Saturday. So eight championships to be decided all in the Superdome. Two teams come out on the field for the second half kick. Wildcats will go right to left on your radio dial. Gabe Williams will drive back but he has just not been able to get on track because every time he gets the football there's two or three black shirts all around him. Looks like Manny has said, we're going to stop number six. And boy, they have so far. It's going to be Lafayette to kick it away, number 21. There's the kick, a little pop up. It'll hit the ground. It'll be fielded. That's Green trying to get to the outside. He won't. Hey, well, we've seen him a couple times try to get all the way to the other side of the field. They give ground and they take him back inside the 20. Had he caught it and just went straight, he'd have been at the 30. Now they'll start at about the 19. First and 10 for the St. James offense. They got to just try to find some way to stop the pressure. Six guys in the box. They'll walk up somebody else. They'll send seven. <coughs> Braden Williams starts in the shotgun. Caden Williams to his right. Put a man in motion. Get the snap. He'll roll right. Looking down the middle. Throws it. He's got Preen behind the defense and he drops it. Boy, we've seen he made a great throw, a great catch in the first half. That one would have been a tough, it was over his shoulder before he makes the type of catches that he was behind the defense. That would have been a touchdown. So the Wildcats take a shot. Again, they're covering one-on-one. -on -one. They don't have a safety. Curtis is playing safety, but he goes on the snap. So three receivers to the left. Short side of the field. Cade Williams calls for the football. Now he puts a man in motion. Quick pass out in the flats. Cade Williams makes a man miss. Gets by him. He's on the outside. He's at the 40. He's at the 50. One man to beat. He's at the 30. And they take him down with a harsh collar tackle. I don't see a flag. Here it comes. There's a horse collar, but he gets all the way down to the man in 20. Well, they finally got him in space. He had one man to beat. He beat him, and then he turned on the Jets. If it wasn't for number 11 who had the angle on him, that was Gossie. was able to run him down, but he had to get a horse collar. So from the 20, that'll mark it half the distance. So again, Wildcats at the 10, first and goal probably. 
So let's see where it'll go down. I think it'll be inside the 10. They mark off the penalty. So a great start again for the Wildcats. They've got to get it in the end zone. Indeed, it'll be spotted at the 10. So it'll be first and goal at the 10. Two receivers right, one to the left. Yeah, I just feel like the Wildcats get the end zone one time. It'll give them the confidence. Here's a throw on the slant route. A little too low. Intended for Kobe Brown. Again, the middle of the field is wide open. Jackie Curtis, they call him a linebacker. He technically is a linebacker, but they got him a free safety. And what he does is just gets a running start to try to pick out the ball carrier or the quarterback. And I mean, the, the middle of the field is wide open. That slant route was a little low, but look, look for him to come back to it. Second and goal. Wildcats have been here twice before, got nothing out of it. Dave Williams on the left side of Braden Williams. Here's a snap, back to pass. Here come the rush. They pick it up, throw it in the corner, touchdown. Green right in front of the defender. He pulls it in. It's a Wildcat touchdown. Finally breaks the ice. And St. James cuts the lead 21 to 6, 11 18. That didn't take long. You get the big play out to Caden Williams. And then Green, who's been big all day. They have a hard time covering him one on one. And now they'll try for the point after. They'll move everybody over. Let's see, they'll try the point after. Jasmine will kick it. Snap is down, the kick is up. And it's good. Jasmine puts it through. 11 18 to go. It's now Manny 21, St. James 7. We'll take a one minute timeout. We'll be back. This is Wildcat Football on the Breeze. Also sponsoring our game tonight are St. James Parish President Peter Dufresne and St. James Parish Sheriff Willie Martin wishing the best of luck to the Wildcats. Bray Terrence will kick it away. They may be looking or a man that they're thinking onside kick. I'm not sure the Wildcats will do that quite yet. So what Terrence does. Gets his foot into it. A low kick. It'll go to one of the up men at the 35, 40. He's taken down up over the 40 to maybe the 42. Wildcats will push him out now. The offense did the job. Now let's see if the defense can come up with a stop and get that ball back. Now the ball, they'll start at their own 42, first and 10. Talking about the Manny offense. It's going to be 41. And again, it's been run, run, run. And let's see if the Wildcats have made the adjustment on defense. Shut them down. We don't have that kind of time when the work back up. Two backs behind Curtis. Curtis, the turn. Give it to the first man through, and he's hit hard at the 45. Wildcats driving back. Might have got four. Big hit. Out there by the Cats. 
Sean Jenkins came up and made the stop. So second and six. Wildcats, five man front. They started with six men down. Now they're playing five with three linebackers, three defensive backs. They don't have anybody split. They got two tight ends and a wing back here to the right. Quick pitch, right side, trying to get to the edge. And he does, it's James, he didn't have the first down as he gets into Wildcat territory and good blocking on the right side. And it's at the 48 yard line, St. James, first and 10 for the Tigers. That offensive line has been impressive. Number 23 checks in. Adrian Preen at linebacker. First and 10. Play clock down to two. And the center falls over. The center was going down to get the ball and he fell over. And that's going to be a five yard mark off. You don't see that usually. They tried to hurt him up. He just got over the ball and he was leaning, trying to get the snap off, and he just fell over. Five yard penalty back into the Tiger territory at the 47. First and 15, baby. That's one way to stop the drive, put it behind the sticks. Again, already they're working on that clock. 9.35, clock running in the third. 4-1-7. Tigers ahead. Here's Curtis, puts a man in motion. He'll quickly pitch it to James, left side. Tries to get the edge, Wildcats were there. Knocked him down to 50, picked up three. So it'll be second down and 12. Good job that time. In turned him inside, he couldn't get to the edge. <clears throat> Good pursuit this time. Again, they've only tried one pass. It was on the first drive down by the goal line. It was incomplete. Other than that, it's been all running. We've only seen Curtis run it about three times, but every time he's run it, he's had big yards. One back. The man comes in motion. He's back to pass. Rolling to the right. Still rolling. Looking to get to the edge. Nowhere to go. And that's going to throw out of bounds, and that's got to be a penalty. I mean, he... I mean, he just threw it away. I'm trying to see where they had a receiver. And there's the flag, intentional ground. It had to be. He was just trying to not get sacked. Great coverage downfield. He figured for a team that really don't pass, catch him by surprise, but the Wildcats were ready. Curtis was rolling. They got a hand on him. And again, that's... Adrian Prino come in the ball game, and that's going to be intentional grounding. And it should be in the spot of a foul, I would think. And if so, that's back around the 40. Oh, you can't, don't say the 45, but he is back. So they'll walk you back. Intentional grounding against Manny. Spot foul, spot foul, loss of down, so now it'll be third down. Now they'll mark it off. So a five yard penalty brings it back to the 38. And now it'll be third down and long. They got to get it to the Wildcat 38 yard line. And they got it on their own 38. Ferris under center, single back. He'll fake it, he'll run it. Curtis, run it, they finally take him down at about the 48. Hey, well, he got 10 easy yards, but he was taken down. He needed a whole lot more, so he'll be four down. And they'll have to kick it away. So the defense does his job by aided by a couple penalties. And they'll get the ball back, and Green goes deep to turn it. 
He's standing in the back at about his 20. Here's a snap, a kick, kind of a wobbly kick. Everybody will get away, and it takes a St. James bounce, still bouncing, and they'll down it at the 36-yard line. So not a very good kick, and the Wildcats will have it. And they're all 36 with 7.35 to go. Boy, I tell you what, if they can get this ball down in the end zone, make it a one-score game, we talk about change the complexion quick. One of Tiger fans sitting on their hands right now because they thought they'd come out to start the second half and just put this thing away with the Wildcats with a different idea. Here we go. Ray Williams in the shotgun. He'll put Caden Williams, splits him out to the left. He's one-on-one -on -one with Curtis. Here's a snap. Braden Williams to throw it deep. Cade Williams going by Curtis. He was he had him by the shoulder pad. And no call. Well, I'll tell you what. He was getting by him, but he was hanging on to him. No call. Now second and ten. I'll tell you what, Curtis showed what kind of athlete he is by saying step for step. But he, I think he had a little bit of a jersey because he knew he was going to get by him. Second down. Ten on the clock. They're going to have to hurry. Still looking at the sideline, trying to the side. Four, three. They're going to have to just get this thing off. And they just beat the clock. Williams, here comes the rush, slant route, complete, Kobe Brown, he's at the 50, cuts it inside, he's at the 40, down the sideline, knocked out of bounds. Hey, fire, 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 fire. Inside the 35, down to the 34, first and 10 Wildcats again, that slant route wide open. And the Wildcats are working from the line of scrimmage. At the 34 of Manny, first and 10. Caden Williams on the right side. Here's the snap. Takes the handoff, throws out to Kobe Brown. Trying to get down the sideline, breaks the tackle. Got about six out of bounds. It'll be second down and five. Slow hitch route. The Wildcats on the move again. Here's a snap. Here come the blitz. Green on the slant. Missed him. He had him wide open and he missed it. That would have been six points again. He beat Singleton. Curtis is just coming every time, leaving it open. I mean, I, I know that's how they play, but my goodness. The Wildcats are going to have to take advantage of these situations. He was open, and now we got a flag on the play. Let him walk it back. How far? Let's see. Five yard mark off. So they'll replay second down, second down and 11. After the penalty, now they'll split three receivers to the left, one to the right. Empty backfield for Williams. He looks over to the sideline. Green lined up on the right. Here's the snap. Here come the rush. Steps up. Got some room. Cuts it back inside. Williams still on his feet. Close to the first down, depends on where they mark him. Just got through that blitz, and once he got through it, and they say, first down. So a good job by Williams to get the first down. 6.56, front running. First down at the Manning. 23 yard line, and the Wildcats on the move again. Now they'll send the three receivers to the left side, the near side. Eight on the play clock. Here's 
the snap. Inside give to Cade Williams. There's nowhere to go. You got you can go running game away because they're blitzing every time they're trying to get the quarterback. So if you do hand off, they're all coming. Can't do that. And now, second down, 13, and he lost three. I think from here on out, you can just throw the running game out the window. You're going to have to. Third, second down, excuse me, 13. Here's a snap. Williams rolls to the right, stops, fires it over the middle. Preen's there, and the defender got there early. Here comes the flags and interference against Manny. Again, Preen had Singleton beat. And that's going to be interference. And it's going to be a first down. It looks like a 15-yard mark off and maybe half the distance. There's a ball sitting at the 27. So I think it should go down to the 13 at least. So I think that's going to be a first down. Let's see where they mark it. Boy, this game has changed totally here in the second half. And again, man, it looks like they're just going to sit in that same defense, try to put the pressure and leave it open and hope the cornerbacks can cover. It's first down and 10. They can get a first down at the four yard line. So it's first and 10 for the 14. Braden Williams rolls right, rolling, fires it, corner of the end zone. Look for Kobe Brown off his fingers and out of bounds. Went to the short side of the field. Off the fingertips of Brown, and it'll be second down and ten. Brown went up. Let's see. I would love to see Preen on a little post corner here. He's been running that slant route. Make a slant and go back to the outside. Let's see if they can cover him. Second down and ten. Two receivers right, two left. Wade Williams straight back. Here comes the pressure. Throws it down the middle. Incomplete. And here's the flag. Interference. Again, Singleton early. Getting to Preen. And that's another marker. That's going to be another first down. And right now, he just can't cover him. Bottom line is, it's the same route. And he just cannot cover him. Singleton 6'3", 193. Now mark it off down to the it's half the distance, so it'll go to the seven. Actually, it's second down. It wasn't the first down. So second down and three. So replay second down. And now Caden Williams will be in the Wildcat. Let's see what they do with it. Put screen in motion. He'll fake it. He'll go up the middle. Caden Williams spins. Touchdown, Wildcats. Caden Williams in the end zone. 5.25 to go in the third. And St. James pulls closer. 21-13. to 13. Two scores. And the Wildcats right back in this thing. Jasmine will be in the try for the important point after. Try to cut it to seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. And so tell me. All right. So the Wildcats will shift over. Brown will put it down. Jasmine will kick it. Here's a snap. The kick is up and it's blocked. The kick is blocked. 5.25 to go in the third, 21-13. Manny on top, we'll take a one minute timeout. Just Wildcat football on the breeze.
It goes by the deep man. He'll go back and field it at the one. Wildcats miss a couple tackles and it gets it all the way back out to the 20. Eight yard line. Boy, they had him pinned in there. Wildcats missed tackles on Williams. And he gets it back out to the 28. First and 10. Had a shot to really put him deep inside the 10. So here comes the Tigers. They lead it now 21 13. 5 15 to go. They'll split two receivers to the left. Here's Curtis puts the tight end in motion. Now they'll set it over. They sweep it to James. James will call forward. Out to about the 34. So gain of six. But he just overloaded that left side and got the pitch that way. Third quarter score, St. Thomas Moore 31, E.D. White 7. Last year was E.D. White. Getting the win in Thibodeau this game this year in Lafayette. St. Thomas Moore on top. Second down and four. Double wing to the right. He goes in motion. Here's the give on the counter. Williams hemmed up, taken down. That'll bring up third down and short. Third down and one. Boy, that's the situation they love. Look for Curtis maybe just to try to sweep this thing. Third and one. And you got to be careful here for this defense. You, don't, you know, you want to stop them, but you don't want to give up the big play by getting out of position. A lot of times, how many times have you seen those third and shorts turn into long games? Curtis on the center. The turn. He'll give it to the first man for Williams, and he's taken down, but he's got up to the 40. That will be the first down. Boy, they had him. He wiggled his way for the first down. First and 10. Rustin on top of Zachary, 24 7. Destrahan leads Westgate, 14 6. Brother Martin on top of Karen for 35 24. Curtis now leads Calvin Kai of Baton Rouge, 17 14. Lutcher, 28, West Feliciana, 21. That's in the third quarter. Union Parish rolling over Amy, 28 to nothing. First and 10, ball resting at the Manny, 40. Clock running, 3.15 to go in the third. Here's Curtis, quick pitch, right side. Williams hit, spun down for only about a two-yard pickup. Good defense that time. You hide Dunham, tied at 21. St. Charles 14-3 over Notre Dame. Oak Grove at the half. Feeney Haynesville 42 to nothing. Mangum and Homer tied at 18 at the half. BC on top of St. Martin's 14 to seven in the third quarter. Barstow Christian leads. Opelousas Catholic 21 to seven. Second down and eight. Wildcat defense needs to come up with a stop. Here is the quarterback running Curtis. He is free. He cuts it inside. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Wildcats chase him. They won't get him. Touchdown, Tanky Curtis. 58 yard run. So Curtis puts the Wildcats, excuse me, the Tigers back on top 27 to 13. Curtis, the quarterback, what a big run. And once he broke containment, nobody there. He cut it back across the grain. 
here comes a flag. And it looks like maybe too many on the field for the Wildcats, I'm not sure. Yes, St. James with too many out there. Let's see. Now it looks like they'll get a half the distance and it looks like they'll go for two. Too many on the field. Or legal substitution on the Wildcats. Now somebody will go out of the game with 12 out there now. And they will line up for two. Ball's placed at the one and a half yard line. Wildcats are in trouble. Stopping them, they'll go for two. Curtis and the Wildcat takes it right side, cuts it inside. He's hit, and he got it. They said he got to the end zone. Two point conversion is good. Now 29-13. We'll take a timeout. We'll back to kick. This is St. James Football on 105 .9. When you invest in your home, you want your flooring purchases to look beautiful and to last for years to come. At the Decor Shop Design Center in Lutcher, you will always find quality, selection, value, and experience. You can feel confident that you're getting true and honest pricing, industry experience, service, and vast selections. Visit the Decor Shop in Lutcher today at 1915 Highway 3125 or call Sherry, Camilla, or Patrick at 225-869-8623. The Vachery Auto and Home Center proudly supports our Wildcats tonight as they fight to get to the Superdome. The Vachery Auto and Home Center at the corner of Highway 3127 and Highway 20 in Vachery is now offering deals on oil changes that start under $40. Also, take 15% off all outdoor cookware. Now is also the time to come in and get a Christmas gift for Dad, Grandpa, or that special guy in your life. Tell us you heard this ad on KBZE Radio for a surprise gift. The Tesh Action Clinic staff located inside St. James High School are proud of all of our Wildcats and we're especially proud of our football team advancing to the 2022 semifinals. Tesh Action Clinic is doing its part to move health care forward in Vashery and St. James by making sure all of our Wildcats are in good health. We're open when school is open from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and we offer medical, annual wellness exams, vaccinations and behavioral health care. But he got back to action quicker than our commercial. That ball was kicked. Green took it out. Went to the right side. Got a great return over midfield into Manning territory. So Wildcats trailing it by 16. Got to score quick again. Still time. 2.15 to go in the third. They'll have it at the Manning 39. That's good. 49. Catch the Southern Jet as they face off against Jackson State. Swag Championship tomorrow at 2.30. Right here on KBC 105.9. Williams will be on the left side. Matched up with Curtis. He'll try him again. Throws it deep down the field. He's got him beat. He reaches out and grabs him. And again, no call. I mean, he is holding him every time as he runs by him. I'll line up and do it again. He is. Hey, what? That's twice. Let's see now. Second down and ten. Second and ten. Williams with the snap. Back to pass. Here comes the rush. Fires it. Complete. Makes a move. That's Kobe Brown. Pushed out of bounds. That's a 42. It looks like be third down and we'll say about four. Third down and four. They converge in here for the catch. 
Brown goes in motion to the right. Here's a snap. Here comes the rush. Williams back. Fires it incomplete. He's trying to get it to Cade Williams, but he wasn't looking. Fourth down, I believe, right here. You got to go for it to get a wildcat. You got it on the plus side of 50. Fourth down is four, and they're going to go for it. Empty backfield. Two receivers right, two to the left, wing back to the left. Now, straight back, looking, the rush comes. He's hit, the ball's caught, let's see. They say a great catch out there. That Cade Williams, yes, on the sideline. Just past the six. He needed four, he got six, that's a first down. Excuse me, Kobe Brown. Brown, an outstanding job to get the first down. Keeps the drive alive, big play right there on the third down. Again, empty backfield. Here comes the rush, the pressure. Williams throws it. Brown stops short, catches it. Pull down at about the 16. A little back shoulder throw that time. Brown adjusts his route, pulls it in. Cats got it at the 16. Boy, they have not been stopped here in the second half. Those defensive backs are getting a little tired. Lou Curtis, who's been on the field both ways all night. First and 10 at the 16. Here's the snap. Williams looks left. Still looking. Here's the rush. Steps up. Curtis, we said, he's trying to pull him down. Curtis gets the sack. He stepped up, dropping for a two yard loss. Hey, to Chicago. Let's go to Chicago. Oh my God, And now to be second down. It's Williams back to pass. Here comes the rush over the middle. And he threw it behind Cade Williams. And now to be third down. Third down and 13. Again, two down territory for St. James. Got to come up with a conversion. 40 seconds left in the third. 29 to 13. Manny on top. Three receivers to the right. Here's a snap. Here come the blitz. They're all coming. Williams steps up. He's going down. This brought more men to make it block. And now it's four down. Just got to get rid of it. I know it's tough because you're not even into your pattern. That's what they're going to keep on doing. And now it's fourth down. Ball sitting at the 26. They got to get to the six. So it's fourth down and 20. Look for Cream. Throw it up to Cream. Let him come up with a play. He's on the left side, one on one with Singleton. Nobody in the middle of the field. And that is the end of the third quarter. They switch sides. 15 minutes left on the side. Who goes to the Super Bowl? Manning, 29. St. James, 13. We'll be back after this timeout. This is Wildcat Football on KBC. Attention Wildcat fans, this is Lee Condal, Poochie to many of you. I graduated from St. James High School in 1983 and I have many happy memories, but I've got to tell you about Tesh Action Clinic, a school-based health center that's located right inside of our brand new beautiful school campus. Tesh Action Clinic is open when school is open to provide incredible care for our Wildcats parents. If you haven't done so already, make sure your Wildcat is taking advantage of this incredible service. When you shop at Grunyard Furniture in Donaldsonville, you'll create a home you'll love to live in. 
comfort and quality the whole family will love. Shop furniture, appliances, rugs, and mattresses. Shop online at Gronyard.com. Make the drive to 622 Railroad Avenue in Dowsonville or give them a call at 225 473 8532. Also, St. James Urgent Care is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the weekend. X ray services are now open. St. James Urgent Care walk ins are welcome. St. James Parish President Peter Dupin and St. James Parish Chair Willie Martin wishing the best of luck to the Wildcats tonight. Fourth down and 20 from the 26. Wildcats need a conversion. Everybody up on the box for Manny. Caden Williams in short motion. Here's a snap, back to pass. Looking downfield, fires it toward the end zone. Green makes the adjustment, he makes the catch, but I think he was out of bounds. And he was. Get a stop. Cannot give him another touchdown and has got to get the ball back for their offense. Score still Lutcher 28, West Feliciana 21, also Union Parish 28, they beat 8. Here's Manny with the football. St. James 26. Here's Curtis. Turns. Gives it. And off straight ahead. Taken down. Now spinning. Still on his feet. Wildcats finally getting to the ground. Now the is over to 32. Great second effort. Well, we've seen all these Manning running backs and quarterbacks. Really do a great job. That was... Jeremiah James, junior running back, picked up seven, second down at three. And I'll break the huddle with the play clock at 12. Switch the tight end to the left. And now, the running back kind of stood up before the snap. He didn't get it. So it's third down now and about two. The running back kind of just stood up. He didn't really move forward. But he was supposed to get the football. And Third and two, you got to keep you on number four. He, every time they needed a big play, he was delivered. Curtis, switch pitch outside, first down, but Williams is driven back. First down. That was Aubert who puts the hit on him. There's down many for a set of downs. Clock moving. Ten minutes to go in the ball game. First and ten. They were supposed to wing back in motion. They give it to the back. Diving through the, the middle. Four yards. Second down and six. Just no hurry. Just gonna take it. Time off the clock. Keeping that explosive offense of the Wildcats on the sideline. Second and six. Well, you just got to think back to what would have been with the two opportunities the Wildcats missed in the first half. And inside the five twice, one time to the two, first and goal. Did not get anything out of it. 
Second and six. Curtis pitches it left side. And that's a tackle. James moves. There's a flag coming in. That could be a hole. James had the first down. But it might be a holding call. Holding against the Tigers. So that will negate the first down. That'll cost him 10. Again, just a missed tackle. But boy, when you miss a tackle against these guys, it turns to 7, 8, 9, 10 yards. So move it back to the 34 yard line. Set up, second down, and the second down and 14. Second and 14. Receiver splits out to the right. Again, they had completed a pass tonight. Hadn't had to. Curtis fakes it, running, trying to get him down. They can't. Now he'll reverse field again. There's a block. There's a flag. That'll be a clip. Now he's taken out of bounds. That'll be another penalty against the Tigers. And again, they just can't get Curtis on the ground. That big fella, he went right, went left, went right, came back left. Let's see. We'll replay we second down, but it'll go back again. That's from the spot. I was saying from the line of scrimmage. St. James declines Okay. So the Wildcats decline. They want to get the ball back. So it's third and 13 from the Manly 35. Would have backed them up instead. They declined it. So got to stop them here and get the ball back. Backs behind Curtis. He'll turn, give it to the first man through. And the Wildcats will take him down at the 40. And now it looks like a punting situation for Manny. So the defense does their job. They hold him down and bring him to go back. Let's see if he may be able to break one here. Uh, uh, Fale was in there, is in there to punt it. He's standing back at about his 27, green at his 30. Wildcats hey. doesn't look like they're trying to put no pressure. They'll stay back. So it's a good kick. Green will let it go. It'll bounce. He'll go back, field it at the 10, trying to get to the left side. Trying to get outside, now he stays there. Spun around at the 20 and out of bounds. Good kick that time as it went over his head. Now it's Wildcat, ball at their own 21. 7.33 to go. Has to get this ball in the end zone. And has to get the two point conversion by right now, 16 point game. So you need two touchdowns and two PATs, or two two point conversions, I should say, just to tie it. But you gotta get in the end zone here. Two receivers to the near side, one to the top of the formation. Here comes the pressure, straight up the middle. Williams can't get away from it. Right now, they just can't block. They're like that almost all night. For the first part of the third quarter, they did a decent job of getting a little bit of a chance. Now, Williams loses his helmet, so they have to have a new quarterback in here for this play. 
bring it back to about the 14. Second down and 17. And you know, they're going to keep bringing that pressure. Back draw. That ain't going anywhere. He's taking down. Williams will we'll come back in. King Williams just took a direct snap. Now third down and 17. You know, come to the near side. I think you just got to throw a go route to him. Just take two steps back and just fire it and let him run under it. You won't have much time. Here's a snap. Back to pass. Looking. Here comes the rush. They hit him. And knock him back in the end zone. But they say all the progress got him at about the two. So they say he wasn't in the end zone for safety. Now four down. They're going to have to punt it. Is going to be in the end zone. So that's a big time sack. And up, uh, let's see. Looks like they not sure. Yeah, they're going to send the punt unit out. Don't have to hurry. 15 on the play clock. They're going to get great field position. Curtis is dropping deep. Kramer gonna kick it, they'll never. I don't think they ever get set to kick this one. Or they have to waste the time out or just let the clock run out and they do. So they run the clock down and they'll take half the business to the goal, Phil. Four down. St. James will get the rest of their button unit out there. Here's a snap, the kick. It'll hit at about the 20, take a backwards roll. St. James will finally down at the 14 yard line. So Manny. 452 to go has a chance to just put this thing away. It is not already put away 29 to 13. And they have it at the St. James 14. The Wildcats had some opportunities. Fought back in the third quarter, I tell you what. Came roaring back. Manning just came up with a couple plays. Well, that defense just smothered Williams on that last <coughs> drive. Here's Curtis under center. He'll turn, second back, gets the handoff. Wildcats all over and take him down. No gain. Good job by the defense. That's the one time I think they got him for no gain. <laughs> And again, you'll see them start to work on that clock. Play clock down to 15, still in the huddle. They'll come to the line with it at eight. And comes in motion. They'll snap it with one. Curtis rolling to the right, rolling, looks at the end zone, fires it incomplete. Short of the receiver. We're trying to catch the Wildcats off guard, but I tell you what, they've done a good job on the few passes that Manny has thrown to be able to come into coverage. Third down and nine. Clock stopped. The incompletion at 358. 
There it is. Keeps it left side, up the middle, dies, taking down at about 10. Now it's fourth down at the 10, and it looks like a field goal opportunity. And I think the Wildcats will use a timeout. They'll take the timeout, trying to save a little bit of time if he misses. They have to put it hyper gear and get down there. Forty-six seconds left in the game in Lafayette. It's St. Thomas Moore, thirty-eight. Edie White, seven. St. Thomas Moore will advance to the state finals in Division Two of the Select. Trying to get some scores for you as they wrap up tonight in the semifinal night. Field goal opportunity. This will be put down at about the 17, so it'll be a 27 yard field goal. Here's the snap, the kick, it's up, and it's good. 3.43 to go. The score now. Nanny, 32. Less than two. St. James, 13. Three score game now. We'll leave it right here. We'll try to catch you up on the scoreboard. Rustin over Zachary in the fourth quarter, 37 to 14. Rustin looks to be in the championship against either Destrahan or Westgate. Destrahan leads 14 to six. Brother Martin all over Karen Crow, 49-24. Looks like Brother Martin will be in the finals. John Curtis on top of Calvary Baton Rouge, 24-21 in the fourth. North DeSoto, 38, Iowa, 12. And in the third quarter, Lutcher, 28. West Feliciana, 21. Lafayette Christian over Turlings, 40 to 24. Union Paris over Amy, 28 to eight, still in the fourth quarter. None of these are final yet. Dunham over U High, 28 to 21. And a final, St. Charles beats Notre Dame, 17 to 10. Oak Grove rolling over Hainesville, 42 to nothing. Homer now has extended the lead, 31 18. Here's a kick, a deep kick, goes over everybody's head. That's in the end zone. So that ball will come out. For a touchback, fourth quarter, Vermillion Catholic 28, St. Martin 7, and One Star Christian leads Ascension Catholic 35 to 14. That is your KBZ scoreboard. Ball we put down at the 20. Wildcats face an uphill battle now. 3.43 on the clock. Williams in the gun. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Fires it out there. Incomplete. Tended for Caden Williams. And not for a great comeback. 20 seniors will end their high school career tonight on this very field. So the Tigers get called for roughing the passer. That will cost them 15 and a first down. And that will bring it out to the 35. So first down. Williams back. Good protection this time over the middle. And Preen pulls it in. Nope, they said he didn't come down with it. Singleton was on the coverage. Boy, it looked like he was over the top again. So it's second down. Second down. 
coming up here. Second and ten. Back to pass. Here comes the Brooks. And they haul over him. They take him down. They have just been all over him all night. And now to be third down. Now we have one of the Tigers shaking up as he goes down. So that will stop play with 3.07 to go. I was almost set when he went down, so I'm not sure. Exactly what happened. But he went down. Tim to him at about the 41 yard line. Right, he wasn't back. He went after the play. And it was after the play, so. Did you see that big there, Kobe, right here? Looks like he's attended to. So we have any more final scores for you. Brother Martin has won it tonight, 55-24 over Karen Crow. So Brother Martin will be in the Division I Select Finals. Another final, Lutcher 35, West Feliciana 21. So the Lutcher Bulldogs will be in the Division Two finals. That game scheduled, I believe, for 12 o'clock on Saturday. So Lutcher into the finals. They'll play North DeSoto. They beat Iowa tonight, 38 to two. Right, 24, maybe. Blake Mackin, senior linebacker, shaking up. St. Thomas Moore beats D.D. White. Union Parish is beat a meet. They wait the winner of this one. They went at 28 to 8. Third down and 17. Here's a snap. Fake. Quick screen. That's Preen. Trying to break a tackle. He can't. They'll take him down. And now it'll be fourth down. Four down. Four down and 17. Last gas for the Wildcats. Clock running 2.30. Okay. Hey, go back to action. Four down at 16 here. Williams back to pass. Fires it out there over everybody's head. Incomplete. And now, Manny will just have to run out the clock. And they will advance to take on Union Parish in the Superdome for the Division Three title. So now they would start just handing off. Running some clock. They take it over at the St. James 28. And they just have to get 214 off the clock. Just Curtis. It's man in motion. He'll turn, second back through, that's James. He's been a work for us, straight up the middle. Finally, they take him down inside the 20 to about the 18. I believe they have another first down, they will. Not worried about getting in the end zone, just want to take the time off the clock. Manny, let it 21 nothing at the half. Two touchdowns by Wildcats made 21 13. But then Tackett Curtis, 56 yard touchdown run, and then that defense really came up big. First and 10. Curtis will turn. 
Give it again, James. Left side, taking it down inside the 10. A yard, yard shy of the first down, but that doesn't matter a minute and 24, and if they want, they could probably take two knees and it would be over. Game of nine on the pass, second and one. Jeremiah Day, about 70 on the second down, and we're about two seconds. That's now we can work our way under a minute when they run this play, so I think all you really got to do is take a couple knees. It's at 50. Yeah, they, they'll run this play down and they'll get the victory formation. Curtis will take the D. That's going to do it. They don't have to run another snap. The final score tonight is going to be Manny 32, San Diego 13, and Manny will make their way to the Superdome and the Division II non-select championship. The great game, Manny came as the number one seed. They showed why, boy, and I'll tell you what, Zach and Curtis is one heck of a ball player. You can see why that young man is going to USC. Outstanding. Did a great job. Take your hats off to the Wildcats. They fought as long as far as they could. Battled back, got back into the game, made a game out of it. But then too much. In other words, Manny defense. And they win it tonight. 32 to 13. That's gonna wrap up our coverage. Keep it locked into KBZ, especially tomorrow. Southern Jackson State the SWAC Championship, 2.30 on KBZ. And keep it locked into us on our dome schedule to see where we'll be. Remember, KBZ, the station where champions play. For DJ Kidd, for Howard Caste, you for listening, for all our sponsors, thank you. This is Seth Thomas. Have a great weekend, everybody. Goodbye from KBZ Esports.